Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at this thing today. It's a Polar Pro Katana, and it's actually an accessory for the DJI Mavic that I have over here. So I want to try to test this thing out. I got it because, as you can tell, it's something that you hold the Mavic with, and there's a little space for the phone there, so you're going to put the phone in that part. It seems like a good idea to have other uses for this really nice, expensive drone that I got down here, and for its compact size. I bet I could fit this inside of my, my suitcase when I travel easier than a huge stabilizer for that camera I'm filming on right now. So why not try this, this out? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. As you can see, it's very light, which is great. I love that it's light and it's small. With that camera that I'm filming on right now, I use a huge gimbal. You have to like balance it and get everything set on it, then dial it in. And then you can't even like, it's hard to adjust your DSLR while it's on there. It like fiddles around and it doesn't like it. So this will, this should make it easier. So we'll give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and put it together right now real quick. So let's go ahead and take out the Mavic. It's right in here. There's my little, my little pet Mavic. Let's move this out of the way. We don't need the control because it's gonna work on Wi-Fi. And the way you switch it on Wi-Fi is you go under the right wing, take out this tab, and there's the memory, and there's Wi-Fi on the left, RC on the right, so I'm gonna leave it on Wi-Fi because I don't wanna use the control right now. And I'll fold this back. Some people say that they, um, the first step is to take off the propellers, but the thing is, geez, what a pain in the ass that would be to, if you're traveling, to have to take these things off whenever you wanna use this thing and get some nice stabilized footage on the ground. So I'm gonna actually try leaving them on. Um, I'm gonna leave them out like that and keep them out of the way of the camera because you don't want it to be under that little thing. You don't want them to crush your propellers and rub them on the Mavic. That would be a bad thing. So I'm gonna keep them out like that, but I'm not gonna take them off and we'll see how it works. So, so we go ahead and start undoing these and it should shortly go ahead and fall off. Okay, so then I'm going to move the props out of the way and I don't think I should, I don't think I'll be causing too much issue with the props because I'm gonna be very careful. Whenever I use it, I don't imagine I'm gonna be very rough with the Mavic while it's on these things. So the props should really be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this thing in, hold it from the bottom, get a nice grip, then go over here, get the other side, then even them out. Okay, now we put the phone on here, and as you can see, it goes up and down so you can adjust for your phone size. So, let's go ahead and put the phone in there. And make sure to have your phone charged up because this thing uses some pretty good amount of battery and it's not hooked up to the Mavic control to help charge it. So, I'm going to pull that up. Yeah, pull that up and clamp down, squeeze it pretty good and then and then I pull this thing up and that gets it. So it's nice and tight. So there it is. Um, yeah, the, the props are sort of like, as long as I keep the props out of the way of the camera, you know, it seems fine. Yeah. So I have my props like this and I don't think I'm gonna cause any issues with them at all. And you know, when I wanna go, go out and fly again, I go ahead and switch it on RC, take off these things, and pull out the, thing, pull out the um, wings and just fly, easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and try turning this on right now. So I'm going to turn it on. The phone's already on. Yep. There are the propellers twitching, as they do when it turns on. And I will now go into the phone 
and I've been having to fiddle with this freaking Wi-Fi thing here and there, but hopefully this time it'll just work like it's supposed to. I noticed one of the issues when you're on using the Wi-Fi is Android asks um, if you want to stay connected to the network because the network doesn't have internet, the Mavic does not have internet, but it will connect to your phone. So I want it to stay connected. You have to make sure to press yes or else you are going to have a pain in the butt. So now it says obtaining IP address connected. So theoretically, I should wait for it to ask me, do I want to stay on the Wi-Fi? And there it is. I do want to stay on the Wi-Fi. And then I go to T DJI Go 4. And then I go to Mavic. So there I am. I have the view. And I'm going to press record. And I'm gonna get a little clap sync so I can sync up this footage with my voice. One, two, clap. One, two, clap. Okay, that should work. So I'm recording, and there's the camera. Now notice when you put it down like this, um, I don't, I'm gonna actually gonna take off this hood because I notice when it's down like this it actually gives me a little bit of interfere gives me a little like black line on the top which is not cool and I don't like it so I'm just gonna take it off there we go perfect now will now I will have lens flare so this is very nice stable footage I can go ahead and focus on things that I want I can look up and down that. Let's look up a little bit, look down a little bit, and let's look around. What do we got here? Got a boat. And see how I'm holding it with one hand and it's still pretty steady. I know my hand's not that steady, so that's a good little test. So let's go for a walk. You'll see me walk out of view right here. One hand, and it's staying pretty steady. That's good. Let's go under this thing. Take a look at the barbecue. Focus in on it so we can do a scenic shot. The barbecue. Okay, now let's walk up the stairs test and I'm looking up as much as I can. Walking up the stairs. Holding it with both hands right now. There's the view. And I will focus it out there now. To infinity. See, the Mavic is a 20 millimeter equivalent, so it's not as wide as the Phantom, but it's still, you know, good, good since when you're in the sky, you can just easily scoot back because you have plenty of scooting back room in the sky. Let's go down the stairs. See how stable it is. If anyone wants to borrow this house, if you'd like to come down and pet sit, you can borrow this lovely house. And I'll just get a few more shots here. Ooh, look at this cool thing. Maybe we can get some B-roll from it. Focus. Spin the wheels. Pull of the spins. There. Let's focus on that.
bet I can do that a little smoother. Here's the camera in all its majesty. Here's the Mavic case. Is there a sunset over there? actually holding this with one hand over the water. Perfect thing to do with a thousand dollar device. So that was the review of the Polar Pro Katana. It's a great little thing. I think I'll be using it. I'll be traveling with the Mavic. So um, It'll be great, and it fits easily in the suitcase. Thank you for joining us. I have another video coming up too, thanks.